Hey, Victor, can your brother sign my poster? Um, Victor, can Bigfoot come to my birthday party? But just him though, it's just a tight guest list, okay? Your brother is like super duper cool. I got a letter, so, can you please give it to your brother Bigfoot? Hey, you three, get back to work, or else you will be fired forever. Victor, Matthew, you him and I gotta go way back. We understand each other. Yeah, you suspended Matthew three months ago. Oh, ah, Victor. I'm sure that was just an administrative error. But, you're the administrator. Hmm. Beat that as it may, could you do me a solid, and get your brother to sign this picture? Make it out to your boss, okay? Hey, where did he go? Alright Matthew, are you finished using the toilet? Sigh. Now I'm finished. Now, time to flush. Good job Matthew. Now, let's wash your hands. Dry your hands. Now we can go. Okay Victor. Uh, Matthew? What are you doing in the dumpster? Oh, I, uh, just doing research for my paper on trash recycling. Really? I didn't realize dumpster diving was your Bigfoot thing. Oh yeah, I'm a big time dumpster diver. <laughs> so, this is a pretty crazy time for you as Bigfoot, huh? But I just want my life back. But now I'm so busy, it's like I'm not back home yet. It's weird how life seems to be going great for about a minute or two, then it throws your life a curveball. Yeah, tell me about it. I assumed my friends would be together forever, but that sure didn't happen. Maybe we shouldn't expecting too much from other people. I don't know, I just thought things would finally be normal. But they're not, just like my life. Suddenly, I'm famous, and everybody wants something from me. Look at the bright side, the people you liked they love you. You made them way happier. Sometimes, I wish I was still a secret. Hey Matthew, what is that? This? Oh, that's my original RV camper van. We need a bigger ride when we added you and your girlfriend to the family. Wow, you're going to take your driver's test in that RV. Ugh, man, I didn't even think about that. Good luck with the parallel parking. Ha, that's a guaranteed fail. Looks like I will be taking the city bus forever. Taking the city bus? Don't you mean, driving the transit? Yes! You're driving the transit. Okay, but hey Victor, I was thinking, maybe we could go to the movies sometime as best friends. Like, on a weekend, or, whatever. You want to? Yes! Count me in. Guys, we're home. Uh, guys? Eat that, you identical looking bad guys. Wait, Bigfoot shoots fireballs? This game's logic strains credulity. Wait! What's going on? Game over? Where did that title came from? Ugh, this Bigfoot video game stinks. Jessica's the weakest character and she has no special moves. Armor, zero. Magic, zero. Straight, zero. Ugh, this is shameful. Hey Victor and Matthew, how was work? Trust me, you don't want to know. Also what's all this stuff doing here? This stuff just showed up after the TV appearance. Well, I think you look handsome. <laughs> Sheesh, this guy is all about the hard sell. Don't let them rush you. But honestly, here is your autograph, but don't sign until they agree to a line of plush toys based on me. Those would sound like hotcakes. We'll do variants to shaft the collectors. We can do cute and cuddly, fierce and fangy. Maybe one of me in repose? Well, I, I, uh, I don't want this. Wait, why? The money is not good enough? Ha! You drive a hard bargain there Bigfoot, but I respect that. I'll tell you what. We'll get you more. We'll up your percentage. I mean, I don't want to do this. Period.
no licensing my likeness in all media and methods of dissemination. Blah blah blah. What? Okay, I got to deal with something. I'll call you back. I don't want to sell junk with my face on it. I want to do something meaningful with my life. Meaningful? I can't take 10% of meaningful. What about this letter from the nonprofit? Do you have any idea why they call it a nonprofit? Hey! Because they don't make any profit. Take your junk, and get out. Look, you see, these things happen. I get tempers are hot. So, just sleep on it. <laughs> just kidding, you can stay. Hooray! But only as I promise not to fight with me, okay? Okay, I understand. Good. Great! Now this is getting out of hand right now. But I can always sleep outside in a heavy rainstorm, right? <laughs> hmm. Dear Dr. Drake, we're writing to you from Rocky Valley, Alaska. The government's authorized extract oil company to remove oil from our largest wildlife preserve. This hits because Extract convinced the government that their clean oil process is zero environmental impact. We think Extract is lying, and they're jeopardizing the ecosystem at risk. With your fame and influence, you could help expose what's going on here, and stop Extract before it's too late. Signed, Sherlyn and Wilbert. What a shame you guys, Extract. These guys are everywhere. Do you believe in destiny? Oh boy. Here we go again. This is what Matthew was meant to do. Use Matthew's voice to help people. I think Matthew should go. To Alaska? Seriously? But I can make a difference there. But I can't. I just got home. I cannot leave again. What's the point of fame if you don't use it to make the world a better place? Yeah but do you know what? I hate to break to you, but one person like me can't make a difference all by themselves, especially me. You're wrong. Let me prove it to you. And what about me? We need to talk this over. Matthew, can we talk? Why is there to talk about? I've just returned home after all these years and I already want to leave. You just have a fun vacation. Come on, you know, it's not like that. You need to do something with your life. And we need sleep. We have to go to work in the morning. I love you brother Bigfoot. You all right back there? I'm fine. Just never been in such a little plane before. It's, uh, bumpy. This? Ah, uh, come on, this is nothing. It's so cloudy outside. I was hoping to get some good shots from up here. A filmmaker? Why didn't you say so? I like action movies. Here we go. Huh. Whoa! Wah! Ugh, Scott, who the heck are you? A stunt pilot? I'm not a flyer. More of a land mammal. Come on, take it easy, you just missed the shot. That was always a cool angle. Boring shots, those were some boring shots. That makes me want more boring shots as well. I know something's hard for you, but you know, are you sure you got all the shots you need? I could whip you around again. Show you the old loop-de-loop. -loop. Come on, here we go. No thanks. 
I'm pretty sure I got it. All right, take it easy. I'll see you at home. Uh, Scott, there's one more word I have to tell you before you go. Yes, Matthew? All that loopy looping made me wanna... <laughs> you. Gross. Wow! Hello guys, Matthew here, aka Bigfoot. I just landed in Rocky Valley, Alaska. I'm here to do what I can to save this place. But, first things first, I gotta find the people who invited me. Look at this place. The air is so fresh, and clean. And listen to how quiet it is. We'll have to cut that part out. Back in the day, Rocky Valley used to be a mining town. This old ghost town has been deserted for over a century. It's good to see that nature is reclaiming the land. They call it a ghost town, but we all know that there's no such thing as ghosts. Well, that's creepy. Hello. Is someone there? We'll be right back. <laughs> 